Hi. In this video, we will demonstrate how an admin can manage users and licenses in Lexer. Users in Lexer can be any member who will utilize the system, such as the legal team, accountants, administrators, and so on. Each user will have their own credentials to easily log into the system. However, only admins can add, edit, activate, deactivate, and manage all aspects related to users. To manage users, navigate to the settings icon in the main menu and select Manage Users. This will direct you to a page where you can view, manage, and add users to the system. You can add a new user by clicking on the Add User hyperlink at the top of the page or from the Actions button on the right. When adding a new user, you are required to fill in all the basic information, such as the user's first name, last name, and email. You must also choose the user group to which this user belongs, such as administrator, accountant, etc., and give this user access to either the core or contract module, or both. Once the new user is added to the list on the user's page, you can view, edit, ban, activate, and deactivate this user at any time. You can also override privacy settings, flag the user to change their password, inviting them to do so on their next login, revoke the API key, and view their permission list. Additionally, you can edit and add further details for the user, including personal information like job title, mobile number, and address, by clicking to view and edit the user. If you want to ban a user from using the system, you can simply do so by selecting the ban option next to the user's name and specifying the reason. You can also deactivate a user if they are no longer an employee or if you want to replace them with another user. It's important to always keep track of the total number of purchased and used licenses for either the core or contract modules. For example, if the total number of licenses is 10 and the number of current users is 9, you can still add one additional user. If the number of users exceeds the number of licenses, you can either deactivate users and replace them with a new one or purchase additional user licenses. Deactivating a user doesn't mean deleting them. You can reactivate users at any time. First, use the advanced search to look for all users with inactive status within the system. Then, from the list of inactive users, choose the one you want to reactivate. For any further information, feel free to reach out to us at help at lexer.com.